All right, folks. Hey, welcome back. It's me, Mr. Clear Monster. I'm back again for day 837 of learning German. Today, I'm learning German using Duolingo uh, and potentially Memrise. Uh, we'll see if that happens. This actually over to the main screen. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm using or uh, learning German using Duolingo and Memrise. Let me see where I'm at on the leaderboard. I oh, and I need to help out with this friend's quest. It got stuck web version wasn't tracking that uh yeah i'm in 22nd place not so hot here on a saturday evening uh, tomorrow by the way as as uh, as always will be the sunday leaderboard crunch where i get a head start on things about 17 hours from now a little bit for before that 16 hours from now uh, around 4 p.m hawaii time i'll be streaming a little bit early to get a head start on uh or to finish off this leaderboard without getting demoted hopefully and then getting a head start on next week's leaderboard Thank you so much to Mr. Peter Selk for the music we were just listening to. You can find out more about Peter Selk at kestrelpie.co.uk. This is the website there. Uh, Peter Selk is an anagram of Kestrel Pie. Peter is a fantastic uh, composer and musician who put together that music for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you all as well to Cooster who made, uh, who recorded this rain sound and uploaded it to freesound.org under Creative Commons license. Thank you to both of them. Peter, Silk, and Kuster. Let's get started with day 837 of learning German. Keep learning. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit start here and get as much as I possibly can done. Du läufst am schnellsten. Hast du immer Hunger? Läufst am schnellsten. Hast du immer Hunger? You are run the fastest. Are you always hungry? Weird, weird thing to say. Du laufst am läufst am schnellsten. Hast du immer Hunger? In welchem Restaurant isst du gern? Uh, in which restaurant do you like to eat? It's a weird thing to say. You can just say, what restaurant do you like? Oh, and let me hit this thing here. All right. Die Kellner in diesem Restaurant sind am schnellsten. Diesem Restaurant sind am schnellsten. The re waiters in, the res in this restaurant are the fastest. Die Kellner in diesem Restaurant sind am schnellsten. Zehn Mäuse wohnen in deinem Restaurant. Ten mice uh, live in your restaurant. Zehn Mäuse wohnen in deinem Restaurant. That place is not getting a good grade. Oh, let me fix this real quick. Will it stay? All right. Die Köchin ist am nettesten und ihr Essen ist am besten. Die Köchin ist. Die Köchin ist am nettesten und ihr Essen ist am besten. Und ist. Ist ihr. Essen ist am besten. Die Köchin ist am nettesten und ihr Essen ist am besten. Okay, the chef is the is the nicest and her food is the best. The kochen is am nettesten und ihr Essen ist am besten. In which stadium is the popcorn the freshest? Okay. In welchem Stadion ist das Popcorn am frischsten? Yeah, right. I'm surprised. In which stadium is the popcorn the freshest? In welchem Stadion ist das Popcorn am frischsten? Frischsten? Oh, they can't. In meinem Restaurant sind die Kellner am nettesten. Sind die Kellner am nettesten. In my uh, what? In meinem Restaurant sind die Kellner am nettesten. I miss the restaurant part. Restaurant that. sind die Kellner am nettesten. In my restaurant, the waiters are the nicest. In meinem Restaurant sind die Kellner am nettesten. In welchem Café ist der Kaffee am billigsten? In which uh, cafe or coffee shop is the coffee the cheapest? In welcome cafe is the cafe co cafe and Billingston. The customers in the in this coffee shop are the nicest. Die Kunden in diesem Cafe sind am nettesten. 
Die Kunden in diesem Café sind am nettesten. Die Kuchen sind hier am salzigsten. Das ist ein Problem. Oh, the cakes here are the saltiest? That is a problem. That's pretty funny. Die Kuchen hier sind hier am salzig salzigsten. Das ist ein Problem. The cakes here are the saltiest. That is a problem. Waiters here bring the pizzas the fastest. Die Kellner. Hier. Holt die Pizzas am schnellsten. Oh, it is bringing. It's not, they're not carrying. Pizza schnellsten. They're bringing. Bringen. Die Pizzas am schnellsten. There we go. The waiters here bring the pizzas the fastest. The Kellner here bring in the pizzas am schnell schnellsten. Die Kellner sind hier am kleinsten. Sie sind Mäuse. The, wa the waiters here are the smallest. They are mice. Die Kellner sind hier am kleinsten. Sie sind Mäuse. Die Kunden in diesem Café sind am nettesten. Diese. Diese. Die Kunden in diesem Café sind am nettesten. Diese. Diese. The customers in this coffee shop are the nicest. Die Kunden in diesem Café sind am nettesten. The mice here are waiters and also my friends. Die Mäuse hier sind Kellner und auch meine Freunde. <laughs> Die Mäuse hier sind Kellner und auch meine Freunde. The mice here are waiters and also my friends. Uh, let me just take put something real quick. Oh nein, es gibt in diesem Kino 200 Mäuse. Dieses, diesen. Oh no, there are 200 mice in this movie theater. Oh nein, es gibt in diesem Kino 200 Mäuse. The fries are the saltiest. Where's my glass of water? Die Pommes sind am salzigsten. Wo ist mein Wasser. There we go. The fries are the saltiest. Where's my glass of water? Die Pommes sind am... Die Pommes sind am salzigsten. Wo ist mein Glas Wasser? This restaurant, the soup is the saltiest? Is that, is that something you boast about? I don't understand. What are they talking about? In, in diesem restaurant... I guess that should get a uppercase R. In diesem restaurant... Die Zappa sind am um, Salz, Salzig, was it Salzig 10? Ist die Zappa am um, Salzig denn? In diesem Restaurant ist die Zappa am um, Salzig denn? Okay, I forgot the ist. In this restaurant, the soup is the saltiest. All right, back, right, back, right back to that. In diesem Restaurant ist die Zappa M. Zaltzigten. I misspelled Zaltzigten. How is it? Oh, Zaltzigsten. There's an extra S in that word. No progress quiz right now. Thank you. How many more lessons do I need? I need a bunch of lessons. I need like... Uh, simple math here. I need uh, 13 more lessons, looks like. Does this count as a lesson if I hit start? I doubt it. Let's find out. In this restaurant, the soup is the saltiest. In diesem restaurant ist die Zappa am salzigsten. A salzigsten, right? Did that give me... Oh man, did I have 22 before? If that worked... 
I should really keep getting mistakes and then just like busting through that friend's quest. Uh, it'll also give me double XP if I can get it done quick. In meiner Bäckerei sind die Kuchen immer süß. My bakery, the cakes are always sweet. In meiner Bäckerei sind die Kuchen immer süß. Here's the chick here the chicken is the smallest. Hier ist das Hähnchen am kleinsten. Here the chicken is the smallest. Here is das Hähnchen am kleinsten. In dieser Konditorei sind die Kuchen zu teuer. In this pastry shop, the cakes are too expensive. In dieser Konditorei sind die Kuchen zu teuer. In this garden, the asparagus is the smallest. In diesem Garten ist der Spargel am kleinsten. In diesem Garten ist der Spargel am kleinsten. In this garden, the asparagus is the smallest. Warum ist der Kaffee in diesem Kaffee kälter als das Eis? Diesen, dieser, diesen. Warum ist der Kaffee in diesem Kaffee kälter als das Eis? Why is the coffee in this coffee shop colder than ice cream? Warum ist der Kaffee in diesem Kaffee kälter als, der, als das Eis? Why? That's so funny. I actually like, I only drink my coffee iced. In this pastry shop, the cookies are the biggest. In dieser Konditorei sind die Kekse am größten. There we go. In this pastry shop, the cookies are the biggest. In dieser Konditorei sind die Kekse am größten. In diesem Supermarkt sind die Äpfel am schlechtesten. Dieser, diesen. In diesem Supermarkt sind die Äpfel, diesen. In diesem Supermarkt sind die Äpfel am schlechtesten. In this supermarket, the apples are the worst. In diesem Supermarkt sind die Äpfel am schlechtesten. Ich weiß, das Popcorn in meinem Kino ist am schlechtesten. In, bin, in. I know, the popcorn in my movie theater is the worst. In, ich weiß, das Popcorn in meinem Kino ist am schlechtesten. Die Kuchen von meiner Oma schmecken mir am besten. Voll von... My grandma's cakes taste the best to me. Die Kuchen von meiner Oma schmecken am, mir am besten. In deiner Bäckerei ist das Brot am schlechtesten. <laughs> oh no, in your bakery, the bread is the worst. In deiner Bäckerei ist das Brot am schlechtesten. In this bakery, the bread is the freshest. Is the freshest. In, in dieser Bäckerei ist das Brot am frischsten. In dieser Bäckerei ist das Brot am frischsten. Perfect. Hey, Bourbon back. Welcome back. Good to see you again. I'm trying to go through as many lessons as I, ooh, as I can. I just got an XP boost, which is really great. Uh, I need a lot more. I need 11 more lessons done as, as fast as I possibly can, because I only have uh, seven hours left for this friend's quest and 40 more, about 39 more minutes left in this hour. Or midnight. I try. I, I think it's unlikely to be something I can do in an hour, but we'll see. For less than an hour and forty minutes. Willst du mit uns ausgehen? Uh, do you want to go out with us? I'm not gonna remark on that. Do you want to? <laughs> with us. Willst du mit uns ausgehen? Do you want to go out with us? Up your sister, please. Hilf deine Schwester, bitte. Hilf deine Schwester, bitte. Warum, Warum gehst, gehst du, du mit uns nicht aus? Uh, why are you not going out with us? Why aren't you? <laughs> why aren't you going out with us? Warum gehst du mit uns nicht aus? Wir gehen um 8 Uhr aus. Kommt dein Bär mit? You're going out at 8 o'clock. Is your bear coming along? <laughs> Wir gehen um 8 Uhr aus, kommt dein Bär mit. Deine Schwester zieht um, du musst ihr helfen. Your sister is moving, you have to help her. Deine Schwester zieht um, du musst ihr helfen. Mein Freund zieht um, ich muss ihm helfen. My boyfriend is moving, I have to help him. Mein Freund zieht um, ich muss ihm helfen. 
Meine Enkelin zieht bald um. Wir müssen ihr helfen. My granddaughter is moving soon. Uh, we have to help her. Meine Enkelin sieht bald um. Wir müssen ihr helfen. <laughs> I care. I I, uh, I gave, well, the thing is, I gave Ryan a bunch of shit last week because he didn't uh, do du bald um. du a lot mit uns of the friends quest. Actually, he did none of the friends quest because he was super busy with work. And uh, so then I'd feel bad not uh, keeping up my end of the bargain this week. So, yeah. Even though it's not really my fault, uh, the web version of Duolingo was not tracking my progress on the friends quest, which really stinks. Uh, you are moving soon. You have to go with us. I wrote go twice. I don't understand why you have to go out with us. I don't understand. Du siehst bald um. Du musst uns. Du musst mit uns ausgehen. You're moving soon. You have to go out. Go out with us. Weird. Why? That doesn't make any sense. My roommate is going out. We have to. But we have to move today. Mein Mitbewohner geht aus, aber wir. Heute, heute müssen heute umziehen. There we go. Mein Mitbewohner geht aus, aber wir müssen heute umziehen. My roommate is going out, but we have to move today. Oh, it's the party. Okay, well. That still doesn't make sense. Why would you have to go party before you move? Deine Tante hat viel zu tun. Hilf ihr. Her aunt has a lot to do. Help her. Deine Tante hat viel zu tun. Help your father with the chores, please. Hilf. Deinen Vater mit der Hausarbeit. Bitte. Hilf deinem Vater mit der Hausarbeit, bitte. Du gehst nie mit uns aus. Never go out with us. Du gehst nie mit uns aus. Oh, thank you, Bourbon. I did not know that. It's common in Germany to celebrate and say farewell before you move away. Huh. Help your parents. They have a lot to do. Uh. Hey. Go. Deinen Eltern. Sie haben... Help deinen Eltern, sie haben viel zu tun. Help your parents, they have a lot to do. Wann zieht dein Sohn um? Hilfst du ihm? Oh, ihm, not ihn. It sounds like ihn. I don't know why. I, I figured that didn't sound right. I still put it anyway. Wann zieht dein Sohn um? Hilfst du ihm? Uh, when is your son moving? Are you helping him? I think is the is what that means. Mein Neffe will umziehen. Wir wollen ihm helfen. That's cool that they help, that they say goodbye and give presents to everyone's leaving. Uh, my nephew wants to move. He. Mm, what is this again? Is this will or want One. to? Want to. We want to help him. My nephew will umziehen. Wir wollen ihm helfen. My nephew wants to move. We have to help him. Meine Mama muss ihre Sachen einpacken. Ich helfe ihr. People do have like a going away party or a farewell party, but you'd call it that. You wouldn't normally just say, I mean, I guess maybe maybe in like casual conversation, if you've already planned the party and you're already, you know, it's already in motion and understood that's happening, then you might just say the party. But otherwise, you would definitely say like, you're moving soon. We'll have to have a going away party. Uh, at least that's how I would say. Meine Mama muss ihre Sachen einpacken. Ich helfe was? Meine Mama muss ihre Sachen einpacken. Ich helfe ihr. Ich helfe ihr, of course. My mom uh, has to pack her stuff. I, I, I'm going to help her. I'm helping her. Vielleicht können wir später ausgehen. Maybe we can go out later. 
Vielleicht können wir später ausgehen. Du ziehst bald um. Du musst mit uns ausgehen. You're moving soon. You have to go out with us. Du ziehst bald um. Du musst mit uns ausgehen. Wann zieht dein Sohn um? Hilfst du ihm? Right. When is your son moving? Are you helping him? My first place. I need a lot more XP. <laughs> okay. Uh, ten more lessons. That makes sense. Okay. Hope you're having a good day. My day's come pretty good. Meine Mama hilft mir nicht. Sie hilft einer Freundin. My mom isn't helping me. She is helping a friend. Meine Mama hilft mir nicht. Sie hilft einer Freunde. Deine Sachen sind schwer. Mir tut der Rücken weh. Lisa oh. hilft einer Amerikanerin. Sie hatte eine Frage. Uh, I apologize, click the last one too fast. Lisa hilft einer Amerikaner. Sie hatte eine Frage. Lisa is helping an American. She had a question. Oops. She had a question. What? Lisa hilft einer Amerikanerin. Sie hatte eine Frage. Oh, oh. The American had a question. I understand now. Lisa is helping an American. She had a question. Kurt is coming later. She, he is helping a Canadian. Kurt kommt später. Er hilft einem Kanadier. Kurt comes später. Er hilft einem Kanadier. Maria hat viel zu tun, aber sie muss einer Kollegin helfen. Maria has a lot to do. Uh, she has to help a colleague. Oh, what? Oh, but she has to help a colleague. Oh, well. Maria had viel zu tun, aber, aber sie muss einer Kollegin helfen. Du bist jetzt zu alt. Dir tut immer der Rücken weh. Oh, I missed an umlaut on Rocken on the U. Du bist jetzt zu alt. Du tu Dear tut immer der Rachen weh. You're too old now. Your back is always hurting you. Wow. Wait, to, wait to get me, Duolingo. Spot on. Uh, as I am Meine approaching forty. Denn ihr tut der Arm weh. Uh, my daughter isn't coming uh, because her arm is hurting. Yes, forty. Bietzig. My daughter isn't coming because her arm is hurting. Meine Tochter kommt nicht, denn ihr tut der Arm weh. Kurt kommt später. Er hilft einem Kanadier. Kurt is coming later. He is helping a Canadian. Kurt kommt später. Er hilft einem Kanadier. Kurt kommt später. Er hilft einem Kanadier. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mein Sohn ist jung, aber ihm tut der Rücken weh. I feel like it's like one of those Ren Stippy cartoons where you get real close and then it's like suddenly it's like ah. <laughs> My son is young, but his back hurts him. His back hurts. My son is young, but his back hurts. My son is young, but him to the rock and vey. One second here, let me meet this while I adjust my mic. All this talk of backs hurting made me realize I was like hunched over. So now I'm trying to get better posture so I don't mess my back up any more than it already is. My son is young, but his back hurts. My son is young, aber ihm der Rochen, aber ihm tut der Rochen weh. Okay. My brother can't help me, he is helping a friend. Mir, nope. mir, Bruder. Hilft. Oh, can. Hilft, kann. 
mir nicht helfen. Er hilft einem Freund. My brother can help me. He's helping a friend. My brother can mir nicht helfen. Er hilft einem Freund. Okay. Mia will kommen, aber sie hilft einer Studentin heute. Mia wants to come, but she is helping a student today. Mia will kommen, aber sie hilft einer Studentin heute. That's interesting. I'm sorry you've been having chest pain. I also, um, I have, I have uh, a couple of different ailments that cause my chest to hurt sometimes. And uh, the, the strangest one... <laughs> Strangest one is if I'm hunched over for too long, I get up like my there'll be pain in my chest until I like crack my chest. It's it's the worst. Is everything all right, or is your arm still hurting? You? I hope you find what's what's uh, bothering you. Excuse me, bourbon. Is everything all right? Is your arm still hurting? You? Okay. Is alles in Ordnung? Is alles in Ordnung? Oder? Hmm. I'd keep going to someone until they figure out what's up. Is alles in Ordnung oder... Um, hmm. Tut. Dir am noch weh. Oh, so close. Tut dir der am noch weh. Is alles in Ordnung oder tut der... Dear, dear, arm knock face. Is everything alright or is your arm still hurting you? Mein Vater oh. kommt nicht. Er hilft einem Freund. My father isn't coming. He is helping a friend. Mein Vater kommt nicht. Er hilft einem Freund. My arm has been hurting me since Wednesday. Okay. Uh... How should this be phrased? Since Wednesday. Zeit, right? Bitches, Zeit. Zeit, Mittwoch. Damn, that sucks. Sorry, Bourbon. Zeit, Mittwoch. Der Arm. Tut mir weh. Mir tut der Arm seit Mittwoch weh. Oh, wow. That's structured very differently than I would expect. Mir tut der Arm seit Mittwoch weh. Wow. Hopefully mein I can remember Vater that. kann mir nicht helfen. Ihm tut der Arm weh. My father cannot help, help me. Uh... His arm hurts. Mein Vater kann mir nicht helfen, ihm tut der Arm weh. Umziehen ist schwer und mir tut der Rücken weh. Alright, let me get that loud in here. Umziehen ist schwer und mir tut der Arm weh. Moving is difficult, my back is hurting me. Oh, there's like a bunch of different ways to say that. My mom isn't helping me, she's helping a friend. Okay. Meine Mama hilft mir nicht. Sie hilft einer Freundin. My mom isn't helping me, she's helping a friend. Meine Mama hilft mir nicht. Sie hilft einer Freundin. Maria hat viel zu tun, aber sie muss einer Kollegin helfen. Alright, Maria, Maria has a lot to do, but that's what I forgot before. She uh, has to help a colleague. Maria had viel zu tun, aber sie muss eine Kollegin helfen. Maria has a lot to do, but she has to help a colleague. Is everything all right, or is your arm still hurting you? Uh, is alles in Ordnung? Is alles in Ordnung? Oder? Tut dir der Arm no. V. Hey, I got this one right. Is everything alright or is your arm still hurting you? Is alles in Ordnung oder tut dir der Arm nach weh? <laughs> My arm has been hurting me since Wednesday. Okay. Um, 
So let's start Mir. Mir. Seit Mittwoch. Tut der Arm weh. Mir tut der Arm seit Mittwoch weh. I'll do it there, right? Mir tut der Arm seit Mittwoch weh. Mir tut der Arm seit Mittwoch weh. There we go. My arm has been hurting me since Wednesday. Mir tut der Arm seit Mittwoch weh. Oh my gosh. So many, so many examples and none of them, or at least none of the ones I suggest were accepted. That's okay though. Uh, let's keep burning through this. Oh, let me do, uh, so how many, we at 26 right now. Let me do four mistakes and see if it gives it to me. So that'll be 27 if I get this right. Is everything right or is your arm still hurting you? Is alles in Ordnung oder tut dir der Arm noch weh? Arm has been hurting me since Wednesday. Uh, Mia. Mia tut der Arm sei mit weh. There we go. Maria hat viel zu tun, aber sie muss einer Kollegin helfen. Maria has a lot to do, but she's to help a colleague. Du ziehst bald um. Du musst mit uns ausgehen. That that makes a lot of sense. It's nice though when I get something and it gives me like the oh there's another way to say this, which usually means that I did not say it the way that they necessarily want it, but it was an acceptable way. So like I'll figure it out at least. Uh, Dudes, Boston. Okay, you are moving soon. Moving soon. You ha you have to go out with us. Dudes, Boston. Du must mit uns ausgehen. All right, so what did I say was going to be like 27? Yep. Oh, so that does totally work. So if I get some mistakes in, I can uh, nudge my uh, my friend's quest score by getting a few more. We can definitely get this in. Either, if not, if I just keep going into day 38, that'll be okay. Uh, I need some XP anyway, because I'm right at the, I'm so close to the bottom of the barrel here. Meine Freundin war total hilfreich. My girlfriend was totally helpful. Meine Freundin war total hilfreich. Wann war der Umzug? Uh, when? Was ist Umzug? I can't remember. Umzug. Oh. When was the move? Wann war der Umzug? Okay. My girlfriend is totally helpful. Meine. Freundin war total hilfreich. Meine Freundin war total hilfreich. Der Umzug ist vorbei, aber mir tun die Hände weh. Move is over. But my hands are hurting. Yeah, that's the case. Der Umzug ist vorbei, aber mir tun die Hände weh. Der Umzug war total stressig. Oh, so putting the to your the arm side mid fox stresses the timing more than the fact that it hurts that's interesting huh umzug war der umzug war total stressig total the move is totally stressful tun dir die hände wirklich weh are your hands really hurting tun dir die hände wirklich weh mir tun die hände die arme und der rücken weh my hand, my hands, my arms, and my back are hurting. Yes, we are tun the hände, the arma und der Rachen weh. I am strong. I was able to carry everything. Okay. I bin stark. I. Konnte alles tragen. 
Yeah, I got it right. I'm strong. I was able to carry everything. Ich bin stark. Ich konnte alles tragen. Ja, der Umzug war ein bisschen anstrengend. Yes, the move was a little stressful. Exhausting, oh. That's pretty funny, a uh, bourbon. Rocking. Let me, let me see that in a uh, presentation guide. Rocking. This is, oh. <laughs> Straw. Rochen. Der Rücken. Der Rücken. Der Rochen. Mm, it's not going to give it to me, is it? Rochen. Rochen? Rochen. Okay. No CH in Rochen. Okay. Just a regular K. Der Rücken. Der Rocken. Okay. Hopefully I get the pronunciation right. I need to listen to more. I, I've been uh, making the mistake of listening to too many English podcasts and stuff instead of... And, and too many English TV shows too, for that matter. I need to watch more and listen to more German stuff. I haven't been keeping up with that. Mein Vater kommt nicht. Er hilft einem Freund. Okay, I can just type this faster. My father isn't coming. He is helping a friend. Mein Vater kommt nicht. Er hilft einem Freund. Mein Bruder kann mir nicht helfen. Er hilft einem Freund. My brother can't help. Uh, cannot help me. Or can't help me. He is helping a friend. Mein Bruder kann mir nicht helfen. Er hilft einem Freund. Meine Mama hilft mir nicht. Sie hilft einer Freundin. Mom isn't helping me. She is helping a friend. Meine Mama hilft mir nicht. Sie hilft einer Freundin. Mir tut der Rücken weh. Ich muss zum Arzt gehen. Which my practice. Mir tut der Rücken weh. Ich muss zum Arzt gehen. My back is hurting me. I have to go to the doctor. Lisa hilft einer What's Amerikanerin. That? I really appreciate Sie the. I really appreciate the um, pronunciation help because that's one of the things I worry about most, even though maybe I shouldn't. Uh, Lisa hilft an Amerikanerin. Sie hat eine Frage. Lisa is helping an American. She has a question. Oh, she had a question. Okay. It's Hatta. Lisa hilft an Amerikanerin. Sie hat eine Frage. Meine Tochter kommt nicht, denn ihr tut der Arm weh. My daughter isn't coming because her arm is hurting. My daughter kommt nicht, denn ihr tut der Arm weh. Mein Sohn ist jung, aber ihm tut der Rücken weh. Son is young, uh, but his back hurts. Mein Sohn ist jung, aber ihm tut der Rücken weh. Kurt kommt später. Er hilft einem Kanadier. Kurt is coming later. He is helping a Canadian. Kurt kommt später. Er hilft einem Kanadier. My back is hurting me. I have to go to Dr. U. Uh, mein Rachen tut mir weh. I miss the umlauts. There's, there it is. Mein Rachen tut mir weh. Ich muss zum Arzt gehen. There we go. Mia will kommen, aber sie hilft einer Studentin heute. He wants to come, but she is helping a student today. Mia will, will mir, ach, excuse me. Mia will kommen, aber sie hilft einer Studentin heute. My father can help me. His arm is hurting me. My father uh, can make. Oh, I should just use work bank. This is gonna be bad. My father 
Mein Vater kann mir nicht helfen. Der Arm tut ihm weh. There we go. Mein Vater kann mir nicht helfen. Uh, der Arm tut ihm weh. Yeah, I should really, because the, the thing that's get tripping me up is can and then like which can to use. There's like can, conan, but this should definitely be can and then mir nicht helfen. I wasn't sure which thing to put in there. Umziehen ist schwer und mir tut der Rücken weh. Moving is hard. And my back hurts. <laughs> Or moving is difficult and my back is hurting me. Umziehen ist schwer und mir tut der Rücken weh. Mia wants to come, but she is helping a student today. Mia. Okay. Mia will come in. Aber sie hilft einer Studentin heute. Yeah, I got it right. Mein Vater kann mir nicht helfen. Ihm tut der Arm weh. My father cannot help. His arm hurts. Oh, can I help me? If I had done can I help me, it would have probably been accepted. Uh, it says the correct solution is my father can't help me. His arm is hurting him. Mein Vater kann mir nicht helfen. Can it help me? Im tut der Arm weh. That makes sense. My arm has been hurting me since Wednesday. Oh boy. Ein Arm. No, is mir. Is mir. <laughs> ah. Where is it? Hier tut der Arm seit Mittwoch weh. <laughs> I definitely didn't scroll up to get that one. <laughs> My father is coming. He's helping a friend. Mein Vater kommt nicht. Er hilft ein Freund. Einem Freund. Mein Neffe kommt nicht mit. Er hilft einem Hund. The same. My nephew is uh, not coming along. He's helping a dog. My nephew kommt nicht mit. Er hilft einem Hund. Mein Vater kann mir nicht helfen. Ihm tut der Arm weh. My dad uh, cannot, cannot with a K, cannot help me. Uh, his arm hurts. Mein Vater kann mir nicht helfen. Ihm tut der Arm weh. Father's coming and helping a friend. Mein Vater kommt nicht. Er hilft einem Freund. There we go. Yeah, this has been a bad week for me learning German. I've not done enough this week. Uh, oh my gosh, I just did this in the web version, which doesn't give me credit. How did I actually all tab out during a lesson and start doing it in the web browser? <laughs> oh no. Were you able to carry this over? It wasn't too heavy. Uh, <laughs> War. Zu. Able to. War. Yeah, it's good to get the extra XP. I just wish it count towards the, the friend's quest. Contest. Du. War das Sofa tragen. Oder. War. War es zu schwer. Hey, got it right. Were you able to carry the sofa or why is it too heavy? Want to do that sofa tragen oder war es zu schwer? I can't believe we got that right. Mir tun die Arme seit gestern weh. My arms have been hurting since yesterday. Mir tun die Arme seit gestern weh. 
Urban, have you, um, this is a weird question, but this is a follow up to what we were discussing earlier. And you don't, you know, I apologize for asking, but, uh, as I get older and turn to more of a dad since I am one, did you by any chance have any, um, uh, what is it? It's, uh, what's the name of the stuff? The, my arm has been, my arms have been hurting since yesterday. Um, the chalky stuff. What is it called? I can't remember the name. That helps you when you have like acid reflux. That is the only other thing I could think of that would be hurting your chest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like magnesium, but they also call it, um, there's a brand name that's popular here. What's it called? Actually, it might be terms magnesium. It's what, what's the thing? Sometimes I get confused when, I, when my when my chest hurts and it's actually just heartburn. Then I take this chalky crud. Yeah, no, but there's this, there's a, a chalky thing that you take for for heartburn. And I can, I've had that last for days. But it also might be some other uh uh like acid reflux style thing. That can get real bad for me for a week at a time. Anyway, I'm sure your doctors would have checked for that. that stuff called though there's some brand name thing in the united states that i always think about and now i cannot remember because i'm trying to remember it was gosh oh it's gonna kill me it happens every time uh you're tuned the ama died gestern way my arms have been hurting since yesterday my arms are okay but my tut der rücken weh my arms are okay but my back hurts my arm isn't okay, but we are too there rocking way. I wasn't able to carry the table. It was too heavy. What is that stuff called? It's gonna kill me. I wasn't able to carry the table. It was too heavy. Ich konnte den Tisch nicht tragen. Tums. It's called Tums. It's called Tums. This stuff. It's like a... It's just some like chalky, like it literally is like, yeah, calcium carbonate. There's, there's non-brand name, for, there's non-brand name versions of it too. That looks like shower gel. <laughs> they have like, I think they have chewy ones. I don't know how well those work, but the chalky ones are pretty good. I would definitely try those. I mean, there's like no side effects unless you have some other medication, in which case you'd want to talk to your pharmacist first. I don't know what the name for a pharmacist is, but it's over the counter, at least in the United States. I wasn't able to carry the table. It was too heavy. I can't the dentist nicht tragen. Er war zu schwer. Counter the dentist, Nick Tragen, er war zu schwer. I wasn't able to carry the table, it was too heavy. Mir tun die Hände heute weh. My hands hurt today. Mir tun die Hände hurt heute weh. Der Umzug war sehr anstrengend. The move was very... What is this? Anstrengend? Anstrengend. Exhausting, right. The move is very exhausting. Der, zu der Umzug war sehr anstrengend. Were you able to carry the bookcase?
<laughs> was, dude? Der Regal. Oh my gosh, this is so dead. Was du der Regal? Tragen? Was contest? Yeah, of course. Contest ihr das Buch Regal tragen? I mean, the I'm just saying the pharmacist would know if there's any interactions with any other medicine you have to take. Like sometimes, um, like you're not supposed to have like uh, grapefruit, stuff like this. Actually, I just generally don't have grapefruit because I mess with other medicine I have to take. And I think there could be um, interactions between calcium carbonate, but that's what I would try. What does ear desk buca regal trogen? Can you both carry the bookcase? Yes, the move is a little exhausting. Yeah, no, the doctor totally knows that stuff too. Uh, but because you don't have to go over, you don't have to usually talk to a doctor to get calcium carbonate. That's why I would just go to like a pharmacist. Yes, the move is a little exhausting. I guess it's also that uh, it costs money here to talk to the doctor, which sucks. <laughs> yes, yes, the move is a little exhausting. Yeah, uh, der Umzug? Yeah, der Umzug war ein bisschen. Oh, what was the word? Aus. Oh, anstrengend. Anstrengend. Yeah, yeah, der Umzug war ein bisschen anstrengend. Yes, the move is a little exhausting. Were you able to carry the bookcase? Konnte. Yeah. Das Bukerigal. Oh, totally. Bukerigal. Try again. Oh, you're wrong. Content. It's not contest. It's it's not content. It's counter content. Yeah. Das Bukerigal. Try again. I'm not sure that would show up on a blood test too because it's not like a supplement it's just treating it's not like it's not a supplement for um it's not like iron or b12 it's like it's it's literally a chemical reaction that's suppressing like if if in the case of having too much acid reflux it's suppressing the acid reflux i don't know that a blood test could show that content ear das buco regal tragen where you will carry the bookcase I mean, I'm, I'm not a doctor. Talk to your doctor. Sure, I'll do double XP. Meine Freundin war total hilfreich. My girlfriend was totally helpful. Meine Freundin war total hilfreich. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a mineral you you need just to suppress the the acid when it gets when your when your stomach produces too much. Your content content to salmon then tribe tish. Uh, we we were able to carry the desk together. Der Umzug war total stressig. The move is totally stressful. Der Umzug war total stressig. Are your hands hurting? Hurting. Are your hams hurting? <laughs> Are your hands hurting? Tut dir die Hand of A. A tune. Huh. What is the two? I never understand this. It doesn't even tune. I don't understand toot and tune. What is what is the meaning of toot and tune? Does do oh okay that makes sense for toot and tune. Toot. Tune. It's do and does. 
All right. That makes a lot of sense. That's very helpful. Tun dir die Hand away. Now your hands hurting. Ich bin stark. Ich konnte alles tragen. I'm strong. I was able to carry everything. Ich bin stark. Ich konnte alles tragen. Yes. Our apartment is now totally empty. Unsere Wohnung ist jetzt total. Leer. Our apartment is now totally empty. Unsere Wohnung ist jetzt total leer. Der Umzug ist vorbei, aber mir tun die Hände weh. The move is over, but my hands hurt. Der Umzug ist vorbei, aber mir tun die Hände weh. War der Umzug anstrengend oder einfach? War der Umzug anstrengend oder einfach? War der Umzug anstrengend oder einfach? Why is the move exhausting or eating? Easy. War der Umzug anstrengend oder einfach? Two. Oh, geez. T U E? I didn't even realize that was a thing. And T U S T I have also never heard of. Forms of to do. Interesting. Was the move exhausting or easy? War der Umzug anstrengend, anstrengend oder einfach? The move wasn't exhausting. We had a lot of help. Der Umzug war nicht anstrengend. Wir hatten viel Hilfe. Der Umzug war nicht anstrengend. Wir hatten viel Hilfe. Tun dir die Arme weh? Ah, uh, I misspelled Arme. Tun dir die Arme weh? Are your arms hurting? Were you able to carry the sofa or was it too heavy? Contest. Du das Sofa tragen oder war es zu schwer? Contest du das Sofa tragen oder war es zu schwer? Were you able to carry the sofa or was it too heavy? Mir tun die Hände heute weh. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the, the guide there. Ich tu, du tust, er, sie, es, tut, wir tun, ihr tut, sie tun. Huh. That is really helpful. Mir tun die Hände heute weh. Uh, my hands are hurting today. Mir tun die Hände heute weh. I missed an umla on the A in Hände. War der Umzug anstrengend? Was the move uh, stressful or I typoed answering and cost me exhausting? My hands, my arms, and my back are hurting. Mir Hände. Oh no. Mir tun. Mir tun. Oh my gosh. I don't understand. When is it tune? When is it tune? When is it when is it toot? I'm gonna do tune. It was right. Your tune die Hände, die Arme und der Rocken Fay. My hands, my arms and my back are hurting. Ja der Umzug. Yes the move is a little exhausting. Ja der Umzug war ein bisschen and shoot was it and strengthened strengthened yeah ja, der umzug war ambition and strengthened yeah i'm strong as you will care everything ich bin stark ich war alles tragen able to it can't right it can't it can't alice tragen Ich bin stark, ich konnte alles tragen. I am strong as able to carry everything. In that case, it's way too... Huh. Your arm's hurting. Tut deine Arme weh? Tut dir. Tut dir deine Arme weh? Tut dir die Arme weh?
Tune dear the hand of a. Are your hands ready? Tune dear the arm of a. Are your hams hurt? Are your hams? Why did I say hams again? Arms are not hams. <sighs> oh no, no, no beat the clock. I've got five mistakes to practice. Uh, where are we at here? I need, I need six more lessons so we can do the mistakes to get one more. As I grab some water here. All right. My father can me not help. Him tut der arm weh. My father can help me. His arms hurt. His arm hurts. My father can me hear nicht helfen. Oh, in the same way that ein Calvin becomes ich, ich kaufe ein, Betun becomes es tut weh. Oh, my father can me hear nicht helfen. Ihm tut der arm weh. Are your arms hurting? Tut dir die Arme weh. Tun dir die Arme weh. Tun dir die Hände weh. Are your hands hurting? Were you able to carry the bookcase? Want <laughs> it hier das Booker Regal. Trogan. Oh, tune, tune is what you get when it's plural. Okay. Tune dio di ama ve. When it's plural. Tut dio di am ve. When it's singular. Okay. Quanta ir des Booker Regal Trogan. Were you able to carry those bookcase? No. Oh, you're on content. Again, I forgot content. Einem. Okay. Einem. My father isn't coming. He's having a friend. Mein Vater. Mein Vater. Hilf. Oh, no. Isn't coming. Isn't, isn't helping me. Hilf. Komm nicht. Er. Hilf ein Freund. My father kommt nicht. Er hilft einem Freund. My father isn't coming. He's helping a friend. Right, because it's the arm that hurts, not you. Yes, this is that. This is also what I heard. Uh, Easy German had a great video on this when they're talking about when you're talking about how it's cold or you feel cold. It's not. It's near. Is it? I think it's near Gates Cult. Is that it? <laughs> let me. Let me. I have to look, double check again now. I've. I feel cold. Mir is called no, it isn't Mira's call. They said it's not it is Mira's cult. Huh. And not Ikbin cults, right? Because you are not cold, you just feel cold or something. I don't understand. They had some explanation. I need to watch those videos again too. Are your arms hurting? Uh Tun Dina Tun Dia Di Ama Ve. That one is regionally different though. Oh. Mir is called is the standard German one. Yes. That's what they were teaching. Were you able to carry the bookcase? Okay. Conta ihr das Bucherigal. Bucherigal. Is it not Trogen? Oh no, it's Content. That's what it is. That's what it is. Content ihr das Bucherigal Trogen. Were you able to carry the bookcase? All right. My gosh. Brutal. 19th place at least. Five more lessons. And my blood debt too, to Ryan will be repaid. I hit the nudge, Ryan. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't do that. You should be asleep right now. Uh, let's start. Just get whatever you get. Danke, du hilfst mir. Make friars. Me freezes. Ich have a cult. Oh, wow. 
That's that's cool. I mean, I do not mean the pun, but not intended. So Bourbon says that in Swabia, where I'm from, people say me frites. Literally, literally me freezes in the Sarland where I live now. They borrow the structure from French and say, ich have a cult. That's cool. I like that they, and again, pun not intended, that they have a different structure, but I like the I have thing. I think that is so interesting that that's the way so, so many things are in German where you have, like, someone has their birthday on and Mittfalk. Um, I think that's interesting. Danke, du hilfst mir. Thank you. You are helping me. I think you'd say, thank you, you are helpful. Danke, du hilfst mir. Thank you, you're helping me. Hilfst du deinen Großeltern nächste Woche? Oh, I didn't know that that's what, how you say it in French. Huh. So interesting. How languages borrow structure from each other, too, in addition to other things. Like loan words. But in standard German, no one would say, I have cold, yeah. Let's do dining to go out to next to Vaca. Okay, are you... Are you helping your grandparents next week? Oops. What? That's what I said. Oh, I said that, but then I didn't type the are you. I typed are helping your grandparents next week. Gosh. Wir wollen in drei Monaten nach Pittsburgh umziehen. We want to move uh, to Pittsburgh in three months. Wir wollen in drei Monaten nach Pittsburgh umziehen. Ich ziehe morgen um. Kannst du mir helfen? I'm moving tomorrow. Can you help me? That is too short notice. Ich sehe morgen um. Kannst du mir helfen? Hast du viele Sachen? Hast du viele Sachen? Do you have a lot of stuff? Do you have a lot of things? Hast du viele Sachen? Wir ziehen in sechs Wochen nach Chicago um. I tell you the worst. I mean, it's not the worst. In in many ways, I'm proud of it, but it is a little frustrating sometimes how much better my son is at German than I am. <laughs> exactly. He would plan that months in advance, at least a month in advance. But yeah, my son is so good at German. It's it's embarrassing. Like he says stuff all the time that I just don't I don't get. in sechs Wochen nach Chicago. Oh, okay. We are moving in six weeks to Chicago. Ziehen in sechs Wochen nach Chicago um. Ich habe viele Sachen, aber du hilfst mir, richtig. I have a lot of things, but you're helping me, right? Ich habe viele Sachen, aber du hilfst mir, richtig? Ich will nächstes Jahr umziehen. Uh, I want to move next year. Next, I wrote next week. Next year, I said next year. I want to move next year. Ich will nächstes Jahr umsehen. How can I say year, but I wrote week? What is going on? I want to move next year. Du willst nach Bonn umziehen? Hast du dort einen Job? Huh. That's so cool that you're studying linguistics and translation. I didn't know that. My dad doesn't even speak the local dialect because he's from elsewhere in Germany. I mean... Yeah, I get it. Uh, my uh, when I when I grew up, where I grew up in Philadelphia too, my parents didn't speak the local accent too, and we didn't say things the same way they do. Uh, but I picked up a bunch of that stuff too. Like, uh, I still say water <laughs> instead of water, stuff like that. Du willst nach Bonn, Bonn, um sein, hast du dort einen Job? Okay. You want to move to Bonn. Do you have a job there? That's so funny. You want to move to Bonn. Do you have a job there? Do you feel snack Bonn? Um sehen, hast du dort einen Job? Wir können dich wahrscheinlich in Bonn besuchen. I think it's so interesting that the, there's different variations in the language, even just in Germany. 
Ronin Dick wahrscheinlich in Bonn besuchen. Uh, we. Wahrscheinlich. What is that again? Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, we can probably visit you in Bonn. We can in Dick wahrscheinlich in Bonn besuchen. Du musst deiner Nichte helfen. Sie zieht morgen um. Uh, you have to help your niece. She's moving tomorrow. Du musst deiner Nichte helfen. Sie sieht morgen um. We can probably visit you in Bonn. Oh, yeah. I don't really know much about the history of Germany pre World War One. Probably visit you in Bonn. We can. Dich wahrscheinlich in Bonn besuchen. There we go. Wir können dich wahrscheinlich in Bonn besuchen. We can probably visit you in Bonn. I was pausing there to figure out if wahrscheinlich goes before goes after Conan or if Dick goes after Conan. So your Conan Dick wahrscheinlich in Bonn besuchen was was accurate. We can probably visit you in Bonn. That's so that that's wild that there was Yeah, I I have heard roughly about that that there were different regions that were independent. But I don't really I don't really know much about that. I'm moving to Bonn soon. My parents are helping me. Okay, ich. Ich. Ziehe. Nach. Bonn. Bald. Um. Meine. Eltern. Helfen. Mir. Get this wrong. Ich ziehe bald nach Bonn. Um. Meine Elfen, meine Eltern helfen mir. What did I get wrong here? Oh, the Balt goes right after Ixia. Ixia. Excuse me. Ixia Balt nach Bon um. I wrote Ixia nach Bon Balt um. Okay, Ixia na, Balt nach Bon um. I'll try and remember that. I can probably help you when you move. Ich kann wahrscheinlich dir helfen, wann ziehst du um. Oh, I got this wrong. What did I get wrong? Oh, I just got the dear wrong. Dear goes before wahrscheinlich in this sentence. I can probably help you when you move. It can dir wahrscheinlich helfen. Wann siehst du um? The dear goes be after can. Oh, wow. I had no idea Bonnie used to be the capital. Until 1990. I need to look at a map now. Uh, one second here. Uh, hold on. Oh. I just want to see on a map. Okay. So Bonn is here. Bonn is here. And... Yeah, right next to Cologne. I'm guessing that. Hello, welcome. It's a Kai Leet. One, three, two, seven. I love the Leet. Don't see that a lot these days. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Well, that's another reason why I'd probably, yeah, think that they'd keep the government here when the country was split into two, right? You'd want to, you'd want to, 
keep it a little bit further away from the border. So that would make sense. So maybe after the wall falls, you'd be like, okay, we can finally move it. We can finally move it here. <laughs> and also, like to help unite people, maybe I'd figure they'd want to help people in the east feel a little better. And say like, okay, you're you're represented here too. But who knows? I have no idea. Just guessing. That's super. I'm super curious about that situation though. I can probably help you. When do you move? It can Varshanik can do Varshanik helfen. Right. <laughs> what? No, Europe is not for me just Germany. I love uh I love I I am very curious about a lot of a lot of Europe. Um I have Finnish heritage too. But I know you're just joking. Uh uh, if you want to call things I'm saying bullshit, uh, you'll probably get banned. So maybe don't do that. Uh, if that's what you're doing, I can probably visit you in July. It can. It can. Dich. Wahrscheinlich im Juli. It can. Dick wahrscheinlich im Juli besuchen. Besuchen. I can probably visit you in July. I got this one right at least. Alright, what? What? Hold on a second. Anyway, I probably visit you in July. I can dick wahrscheinlich im Juli besuchen. Ich habe nicht viele Sachen, nur meine Kleidung. Uh, I don't have what? Wrong, wrong keyboard position. I don't have a lot of things. Only my clothes. Ich habe nicht viele Sachen, nur meine Kleidung. Hilfst du deiner Tante oder musst du arbeiten? Are you helping uh, your aunt or do you have to work? Hilfst du deiner Tante oder musst du arbeiten? Hilfst du deinen Großeltern nächste Woche? Uh, hilfst du deine, deinen Großeltern nächste Woche? Are you helping? Helping your grandparents next week let's do dining gross alter next to Volca. moving to bond soon. my parents are helping me uh okay ich ich yeah i, I have no idea what the what deals with that situation <laughs> don't worry about it <laughs> if they don't shell it though they're, they're going to get banned uh ich Siehe nach Bonn, nach bald, nach Bonn. Siehe bald nach Bonn. I think this is right. Uh. Meine Eltern helfen mir. Oh, ich fährt um. Me mir um. Hopefully that's right. Meine, Meine Eltern helfen mir. I got right. I'm moving to Bonn soon. My parents are helping me. Ich sehe bald nach Bonn um. Meine Eltern helfen mir. <laughs> I can probably help you. When do you move? Uh, ich kann. <laughs> What's up, Irvin? Do you think 
you think it shouldn't have been accepted? I can probably help you. When do you move? It can. Dear, wahrscheinlich helfen. Oh, would have worked without the um as well. Interesting. Can dir wahrscheinlich helfen? Wann ziehst du um? Can dir wahrscheinlich helfen? Wann ziehst du um? I can probably help you. When do you move? Finally, that was a tough lesson. I am well into the next day. I should not be doing this much because I'm going to get burned out. Uh, four left, and I've got an easy one here in the mistakes to practice. So at least I hope it's easy. Hilfst du deinen Großeltern nächste Woche? Are you helping your grandparents next week? Oh, without the om is more common. Interesting. Helfst du deinen El Großeltern nächste Woche? Are you helping your grandparents next week? I can probably help you when you move. Ich. Han. Uh, it can. Dir. Wahrscheinlich helfen. Wann siehst du um? You can dir wahrscheinlich helfen. Wann siehst du um? I can probably help you when do you move. I'm moving to Bonn. See, my parents are helping me. Okay. If. Ich. Ziehe. Bald. Nach. Bonn. Ich sehe bald nach Bahn. Meine Parent, meine Eltern. Meine Eltern helfen. Oh, I forgot the um again. Eltern. Try, yeah, try it without the um. Okay. Helfen. Meine Eltern helfen mir. Hey, did accept it without the um. Interesting. Ich sehe bald nach Bahn. Meine Eltern helfen mir. I'm moving to Bahn soon. My parents are helping me. They definitely accepted it. All right, Th three lessons left. Three lessons left. Jetzt habe ich ein bisschen Ruhe. I think my brain is working worse the longer I go. Uh, because it's so late. Jetzt habe ich ein bisschen Ruhe. Now I have a little peace. Jetzt habe ich ein bisschen Ruhe. Now I have a little peace. Right, like ruhig. Ich bin froh. Der Umzug ist vorbei. I'm early. The move is over. Oh, ich bin froh. Not oh. fru. Fru is early. I'm glad the move is over. Ich bin froh. Der Umzug ist vorbei. Dein Bär war total faul. Wir schenken ihm keinen Elefanten. Dein Bär war total faul. Wir schenken ihm keinen Elefanten. Your bear was totally lazy. We aren't gifting him an elephant. Okay. Dein Bär war total, total faul. Wir schenken ihm keinen Elefanten. I want to say one of the things I actually really love about German is that, uh, like, I had no idea how to spell schenken, but I spelled it exactly correct because unlike English, when you say something in German, you are in general saying, saying it exactly how it's spelled. Like the, the, the sounds always, almost always correlate exactly to the spelling. Uh, there are some, I think there are a couple, couple things that or a couple words that don't match that, but that is definitely not the case for English. Like I was explaining to, to my son what I'm teaching him. So like through and tough in English, like you're throughout when you're learning English, you're taught that G makes like a G sound. That sound is not in through at all. It's also not in tough, but the G is in is in both of those words, and it's super confusing. Yeah, plenty of exceptions usually learn words, but it, it is so much more so than English. And uh, a friend of mine that's German is teaching their child, uh, and has that problem all the time where they're just like, <laughs> you just have to learn it this way because <laughs> it, do it doesn't make sense. The phonetic method of explaining this stuff, in my opinion, does not really make sense, but that's how children are taught in the United in America, in the United States, how to, how to learn English. I'm very curious how they're taught in other English countries because 
the the phonic system is just seems like complete nonsense and garbage to me. Um, Anyway, uh, your bear is totally lazy. We aren't gifting him an elephant. Dein bear war total faul. Wir schenken ihm keinen Elefanten. Mama, Papa, danke schön. Yeah, maybe maybe the phonetic teaching that would make sense as long as things are consistent. But <laughs> it's, it's so frustrating with English. Mom, Dad, thank you very much. Mama Papa danke schon. Deine Mama kommt gleich. Kauf ihr einen Gutschein. Your mom is coming soon. Buy her a gift certificate. Ah, okay. Deine Mama kommt gleich. Kauf ihr einen Gutschein. Paul war hilfreich. Wir kaufen fünf Kinokarten für ihn. Paul was helpful. Uh, we are buying. Five Kino Carta movie tickets for him. Oh, yep. Apparently, that is what they're doing. Paul Var Hilflich, wir kaufen fünf Kino Karten for ihn. Paul was helpful. We are buying five movie tickets for him. Alex war lieb, kannst du Kino Karten für ihn kaufen? Alex war lieb, kannst du Kino Karten für ihn kaufen? Alex was nice, can you buy him movie tickets? Meine Maus war sehr nervös. Kauf ihr einen Gutschein. My mouse was totally nervous. It was very nervous. Buy him a gift certificate. Or buy a gift certificate for her. Mein Hund war faul. Ich kaufe keine Kinokarten für ihn. <laughs> My dog was lazy. I am not buying him any movie tickets. Buy, I think they want for him, so I guess I gotta put the four in here. Buying any movie tickets for him. Mein Hund war faul. Ich kaufe keine, kauf keine Kinokarten für ihn. My dog was lazy. I am not buying any movie tickets for him. I wonder if the same thing happens in German though, where like so often with English words, when we're learning them, uh, like people will misunderstand if you, if you just read a word and then you try to speak it so often, you'll say the wrong, uh, wrong pronunciation entirely. I wonder if that happens with German too, where if you learn how to read a German word before you can uh, see, that doesn't happen to me though. I don't think at least maybe sometimes it does. But I think in general I pronounce German words that I read. I guess that's the consistency really again. Your brother was helpful. Are you gifting him your motorcycle? Okay. Dein Bruder hilfreich schenkst du ihm dein Motorrad. Your brother is helpful. Are you gifting him your motorcycle? Dein Bruder war hilfreich schenkst du ihm dein Motorrad. Ich will ein Glas Wein und ein bisschen Ruhe. I want a glass of wine and a little peace. Ich will ein Glas Wein und ein bisschen Ruhe. Yes, exactly. English is so confusing. You are helpful. You're going. We are going to my favorite restaurant. I feel like you should go to the person's favorite restaurant, not necessarily yours, but all right. Foremost, I always complain about Hickoff. What? I, I've never. What? What the heck's Hickoff? Is that a typo? We're helpful. You're going. We are going to my favorite restaurant. Uh, du warst du warst. Hilfreich. Like, what? 
Hiccough is the British spelling of hiccup? <laughs> what? Hiccough? This is, this is, this is broken me. Do they pronounce it hiccup? Or do they say hiccough? I'm so confused. I've never heard this before. I've watched so much BBC programming. They pronounce it hiccup, but they say hiccup. They they spell it hiccough. <laughs> what the hell's up with the British? <sighs> oh my gosh. Also spelled hiccough. Wait, is there any explanation in here? The alternative off wait o u g h makes an up sound. Alternative spelling of hiccough results from the association with the word cough. Like old literature. Oh, weird. I've never seen that or heard that before. But I guess you, if I heard hiccup. Wait, but then what is a cough? If if you O U G H makes an up sound, then what is cough? Cup? I'm so confused. No, nope, cough is cough. <laughs> <laughs> I say we destroy England after we get all the good, good people out and leave the uh, the royals and the uh, the old royals and the um, and the Tories behind. Uh, you are helpful. We are going to my favorite restaurant. Too fast, tilt like. I'm joking, by the way. And then tough, tough, O U G H is an F sound. Cough, tough. My brain is broken. You are helpful. We are going to my favorite restaurant. Dufas Tilfreich. Bjergen. Bjergen. In. Mein. Lieblingsrestaurant. Dufas Tilfreich. Bjergen. In my Lieblings restaurant. You are helpful. We are going to my favorite restaurant. Your bear was totally lazy. We aren't giving him an elephant. Okay. Dein bear. Bear. War. Total. Faul. And though, we might as well leave the uh, UGH U -G -H away completely. Yes. Yeah, though, tough. None of these things make any sense. Time be of a total foul. And then 2-2-2 two, two, and 2 is also extremely confusing. Another thing that makes no sense at all in English. Uh, your your bear was totally lazy. We aren't giving him an elephant. Time be of a total foul. Wir. Schenken ihm keinen Elefanten. Yeah, dein Bär war total faul. Wir schenken ihm keinen Elefanten. Your bear totally lazy. We aren't gifting him an elephant. Oh yeah, Psalm and Knight. Yeah. But the thing with French is it's like every word. Now I have a little piece. Okay, jetzt. Jetzt. Ich habe ein. What's? Jetzt habe ich. Oh, I thought it might be that. Jetzt habe ich ein bisschen Ruhe. Now I have a little piece. But if it's everywhere, it's consi consistent. That's true. Thank you. I'm inviting you to my favorite restaurant. The problem is you just don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I need to try. I, I want to learn French. That That's a, a language I'd like to learn eventually. Thank, thank you. I'm inviting you to my favorite restaurant. I, I think Korean and... Um... Finnish are probably up there higher on my list of languages to learn, though. Thank you. I'm inviting you to my favorite restaurant. Danke. Danke. Uh, ich. 
Lade dich in mein Lieblingsrestaurant ein. Thank you for I'm inviting you to my favorite restaurant. Danke, ich lade dich in mein Lieblingsrestaurant ein. In French, you just know how to pronounce it and which letters are silent because it's always in the same place. Oh. Danke schön für alles. Hier ist eine Flasche Wein. Thank you for everything. Here is a bottle of wine. Danke schön für alles. Hier ist eine Flasche Wein. Thank you for everything. Here is a bottle of wine. Ich bin froh, alles ist vorbei. I'm glad everything is over. Ich bin froh, alles ist vorbei. Ich bin froh. Glad der Umzug ist the vorbei. Move is over. Ich bin froh, der Umzug ist vorbei. Now I will a piece. Jetzt. Jetzt habe ich ein bisschen Ruhe. Jetzt habe ich ein bisschen Ruhe. Now I will a piece. This is probably the longest weekday uh, learning German. Well, it's not a weekday, it's a Saturday, but this is probably the longest one of these 11 p.m. learning Germans I've done in a long time. All right, how many more? Two more. Burn through two mistakes to get another one. Ich bin froh, der Umzug ist vorbei. I'm glad the move is over. Ich bin froh, der Umzug ist vorbei. Now I've all appeased. Jetzt. Jetzt hab ich ein bisschen Ruhe. Jetzt habe ich ein bisschen Ruhe. 16 seconds for a lesson. One more. One more and we'll, and I think I'm going to try to play Fallout 76 potentially. Uh, and then tomorrow uh, the learning German will start around 4 p.m. Hawaii time for... Um, what is it? The Sunday Later Work Crunch, that's what I call it. As a giant duo. I'm also glad I finally got my um, email that let me know my duo owl plush is on the way. I think they're sold out now. Is it store.duolingo.com? Yep. These guys, oh, they still have them. But these are pre orders and they don't ship until November? Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Uh, but I'm glad to be getting mine. I wonder about the suitable for ages 14 plus still. That's very odd. Anyway. Restaurant. Oh, yeah. Restaurant and croissant. Or the last vowel is silent like baguette or fromage. Yeah, we have a lot of that where the E is silent too. Ich helfe dir auf jeden Fall, aber wann ziehst du um? Yeah, no, it's totally not. It's totally inconsistent English. English is a terrible language to learn. Ich helfe dir, I, and that's in fact why I think, um, I try to have a lot of patience with people who are trying to learn English, and it's so awful how people are treated when they're learning English for the first as a second language. Uh, it, it's just brutal. And Americans never, or many Americans never want to learn foreign languages at all. Uh, I will definitely help you. But when are you moving? I will definitely help you, but when are you moving? I mean... I don't know. Every German I've found that I've met has been helpful, but I think those are also people Germans that are intentionally seeking out uh, foreigners. Uh, I'm probably giving you my car, okay? Ich. Ich. Gebe dir wahrscheinlich mein Auto. Okay. Oh, I got that right. I, I'm probably giving you my car, okay? Ich gebe dir wahrscheinlich mein Auto, okay? Ich gehe heute nicht aus. Ich helfe meiner Mutter. Uh, I'm not going out today. I'm helping my mother. Ich gehe heute nicht aus. Ich helfe meiner Mutter. When is your daughter moving to Austria? Wann? Wann zieht deine Tochter nach 
Österreich. Um. Man sieht deine Tatu nach Österreich an. Man sieht deine Tatu nach Österreich Deine Geschwister gehen aus. Was machst du? In Ireland, people are pretty relaxed about people learning English. That's interesting. I mean, Irish people I've met have always been cool, so. Deine Geschwister gehen aus. Was machst du? Your siblings? Sibling? Siblings. I don't know. So your siblings are going out. What are you doing? Deine Geschwister gehen aus. Was machst du? Your siblings are going out. What are you doing? Oh, I should have been sure because of the gain. That's talking about multiple people. Yeah, and, and one of the things Duolingo says is that more people are learning Irish than there are people in than there are, I think, people in Ireland. <laughs> you never go out with us? Okay. Du gehst. Du gehst nie mit uns aus. Oh, I can't believe I got that right. You never go out with us? Du gehst nie mit uns aus. Wann zieht dein Sohn um? Hilfst du ihm? When uh, is your son moving? Are you helping him? Wann sieht dein Sohn um? Hilfst du ihm? <laughs> I, I I have no I have no grounds to bash anyone any any Irish person. <laughs> they have they have so much terrible history for a reason. Uh, the arm, der arm, I think. Uh, yep. Wir gehen um acht Uhr aus. Kommt ein Bär mit. Going out at eight. Uh, is your bear coming along? Wir gehen um acht Uhr aus. Kommt dein Bär mit. Wir gehen um zehn Uhr aus. Willst du mitkommen? You're going out at ten. Uh, do you want to come along? Again, um 10 or else, willst du mitkommen? You're moving to Chicago in two weeks, in six weeks, excuse me. Uh, wir. Wir. Ziehen. In. Sechs. Wochen. Nach. Chicago. Um. Wir sehen in sechs Wochen nach Chicago. Um. We are moving to Chicago in six weeks. I bet this is another one of those where I could have dropped the um at the end. <laughs> Pretty funny bourbon. Oh, finally. Thank goodness. I have an XP boost for 30 minutes. <laughs> I wish it gave me the XP boost later. I don't want the XP boost now. Five gems. What a waste. Oh, where am I at? 18th place? Oh, I got a ton of XP today. Chicago. Oh man, I want, I've been wanting a Chicago hot dog, a Chicago dog for so long. I need to get one. So good. The celery salt and the pickle and everything. All right, let's play Fallout 76. My grandma wrote a letter to an old friend of hers who lives in Chicago. Nice. Okay. I'm going to flip over to, she wrote the shade name is Chicago. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes total sense. All right. Uh, I'm going to switch over to Fallout 76. Uh, I'll be back, like I said, uh, uh, at about 4 p.m. Hawaii time. Uh, did, was that how it was on the envelope? Oh, she couldn't just look it up. That makes sense. Uh, but I wonder, I, I'd hope it got there anyway, if that was on the envelope, if this was a physical piece of mail, a post beef. Anyway, yeah, I'll be back in a minute for, uh, what did I say? Fallout 76? Fallout 76. I've never played this game before. See how that goes. Uh, it might be horrible. I've heard, I've heard it's, I've heard it's uh, decent now. Uh, I've never played this before. Oh, he noticed. Good. I'm glad someone noticed.
Uh, sorry, I should have muted that while I was drinking. Um, anyway, yeah. I'll be back in a minute if you're watching live. Uh, otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow for more Larry German around 4 p.m. Hawaii time. Uh, but if you're watching live, stay tuned. Ooh.